Yo, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna be doing a, another reaction video, which will be. It's about the world's angliest Splatoon player, no this. This. Pots 12. That's what, the, that's what this video is literally about, this dude right here. Anyways. It's a picture, that's a picture of him, yeah. But he looks like in real life. Anyways, without further ado. Let's get right into it. Meet the world's angriest Splatoon player. Give me a break! Jesus oh, Christ! Oh, I've kind of forgot to warn you that. <laughs> Give me my points! I think Stop I mean, drawing! I mean, this now guy's kind of high decibels. When it doesn't get things in this way. But I know it's it's my angriest. Sean Nichols, also known as Putz12, yeah, is regarded it. by many as the world's angriest Splatoon player. Streaming the game numerous times a week, never failing to it's have a freak individual. out after losing. But I'm getting way ahead of myself, because way. though present day Sean is it, very it interesting, is, his past you, might you are, be you are get the more idea. so. In the year of 2015, a game called Splatoon was released, yeah. to much critical and fan acclaim. Though the game was mainly geared towards kids, it also developed a very dedicated fan base, who would take ranked yeah. matches very seriously. Yeah. Putz was one this of these did. people. He was so dedicated, in fact, that he would participate in local tournaments. It was during one of these tournaments that Putz's legendary rage became first known to the public. When yeah. one of his teammates could not make the tournament for unknown reasons, yeah. a substitute was chosen. Since Splatoon is a game geared and marketed towards small children, someone chose their kid to substitute for Putz's team. This oh, poor yeah. little girl did not know what she was getting into, because after Wait, losing the match, I mean, Putz proceeded to have a meltdown, specifically to targeting this with child that. with many that, insults, telling her things like she was that. worthless and would never be good at the game, including many expletives. She couldn't take it and started to weep in front of everyone. But Putz wasn't done yet. He continued to take out his frustration on the equipment, which was almost damaged during his episode. Putz would be kicked out of the oh, tournament, God. and I have never heard of him attending another one again. But this would not be the end of his competitive Splatoon journey, because for years he would play in online ranked matches, where players compete head-to-head -head for points that either increase or decrease their rank. Yeah. Ranked Splatoon matches are the bane of his existence, and in 2018 when he began streaming them to his YouTube, he cemented himself as the world's angriest Splatoon player, if not one of the angriest gamers of all time. Sheesh. I think there's like a beam around that. No single you thing. By the way, the words that you might hear in this video, I would never say it myself personally. So I just want to get that out now. Stop making a move up, you motherfucker! He repeats that same phrase a bunch of times. Stop making a move up, you motherfucker! Stop making a move! How it keeps changing constantly. Jesus Christ! Can we lose again? Game throwing piece of shit! Move! 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 No, I need an aim! I need an aim! Are you kidding me? You left me alone again, goddammit! <laughs> oh my god! These fuckers are trash! As I'm sure you've noticed by some of these clips, Putz is very fond of blaming his teammates 
or all of their losses. The, now, the I don't know much about Splatoon, so I consulted the subreddits to see if Putz was actually a good player. To be honest, and I didn't know much about the game at first either, he is so terrible, Making it even more ironic that his reactions are this intense. Putz will get so angry at his teammates that he will intentionally sabotage matches, going AFK until they eventually lose. The very same thing that he rages out over and accuses them of. It is always either his team's <laughs> fault them or the game's the... fault. I have never seen him take it's accountability really his fault, for though. loss once. Another thing to note is that Splatoon has no voice chat function. You can only communicate There's with no people voice through chat. simple commands. So when Putz is screaming at these people, he's literally doing nothing. Well, it's that is until he starts slamming his desk in rage. Unable to That's cope with way. the sheer incompetence of his teammates, he will yeah. slam his fists onto the table, Jordy Jordan style. He slams jo his fists what? so hard Jordan, in fact, Jordan that his style? computer monitor loses signal from his console. Creating now what is one of the most infamous memes in the Putz community, no signaling. Now, based on just how no intense that meme. event is, you would think that it's yeah. a rare thing, but this happens all <laughs> the time, resulting <laughs> in wonderful clips like these. Dude's literally Wreck It Ralph, in real, like the real life Wreck It Ralph. You're not in a position to make a shot. You're not in a position to make a shot, and you're all are dead. Because. Because Wreck It Ralph himself also has quite a lot of wrath. The, one of the seven deadly sins this dude has is ref. Tired of shit! Camera broke. Because you slammed on it really hard. Camera officially broke. Because you broke. Because you, you kept banging on it. Well, dude, you kept oh banging on it like really God. hard. Don't sing, don't get. And again. Jesus Christ, dude! So we way you can get this anger out. No! Well, that's what he thinks, but there are actually better ways to get uh, anger no, out. No! No! Ah! No, I get soda spilled! Coda, please. God damn it. I'm having a really bad fing day! It would have been a good day if I you don't want to pander to your well, honestly, signals. There are better ways to get better at the game. Rage quitting. Putz has no signaled more times than I can count. And when he began to receive donations, like people would even contest. start to demand a no signal for money. Putz would deny them until he lost and did it on his own organically. Being so lightning quick that one time he even smashed a fly. You would think that screaming at his teammates and he slamming actually, on his desk he would be enough to save Putz's rage. But for yeah, Putz 12, like, enough is never enough. And <laughs> after losing a match, is, blaming it all no on limits, his teammates, man. he will block every single one of them on his Nintendo. This motherfucker is just hacking, as far as I'm concerned. That's kind of uh, abusing no the system that a little bit, if you realize that. Do what the fuck he just did. And this bitch, get the fuck out, you fucking. Ugh. Ugh. Putz might have accidentally been the first person to discover that Nintendo actually had a limit on how many people you could block, he's him the hitting broken. the limit of 100 every couple months. He's he will proceed to then unban everybody so just so that he can ban more people. He has complained to Nintendo dozens of times over the block list, even calling them on one of his streams, capturing what might be his most iconic moment to date. This poor Nintendo employee has to endure all of Putz's his abuse for 20-ish minutes. The levels of patience displayed by this customer service rep are godly. Putz absolutely lays into him for problems that he has no control over. This is just a guy simply doing his job, but Putz is sitting there blaming him hey. for every problem Splatoon has. And so many problems that Splatoon doesn't even have, Putz just perceives it that way because he's the bad player himself. Let me just show you guys some of my favorite clips because that's, this one yeah, is Yeah, that's why he truly is. Uh, not, my name is Sean. He's not good at playing the game. Well, I was on hold for 46 minutes to get a hold of you. The stream so thing kept amazing. interrupting the call. It's not him so himself I am in the actual thing. 
everything about the actual video of him, him so calling it his stream yeah, sound. Um, it's like it one of the stream side effects is him Your saying, online system, uh, "Give me my money." The pay for online. Is oh, kept trash. going off over yeah. and over. Like complete trash. I'm on a Splatoon 2 streamer and actually a pretty popular one at that. Oh yeah. And the fact that. We've had no benefit of actual online services of any kind. It's absolutely it ridiculous. Sending, it's video the fact of him that going, I can't block them, ban them, or anything to get rid of them is completely asinine. Pardon my language, but this is getting out of fucking hand. And I'm so sick and tired of calling in. You're going to have to ask me to stop swearing? I'm going to have to ask yeah. you to please get this everything working correctly. Because this is just crazy about the harassment I'm having to deal with every time. And if you can't handle me swearing because I'm getting constantly harassed, then that's a goddamn problem. I mean, that's a him problem. Now, I am absolutely sick of being harassed calling. online. I'm sick of having no benefits for paying it's just online a regular, services from either expanding my block list, it's just a regular guy. friend lists, he has to deal with and it. quality of service from the actual connections... Uh, just latency, the horrible... I am going to have to end the call. Sir, I am trying to help you, but we all have these rules. Anyone would have to tell you the same thing. Why are you calling in? 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 Like, I'm trying not to swear right now. Like, I'm trying not to swear right now, but it's just so bad. And then on top it off, horrible, horrible, just team comps, the pairing systems, the point systems, and then to top it off, I'm getting harassed with players online that have to come into my lobbies and intentionally lobby snipe me just to throw games. In Japan, but they don't have any of this get... crap. I mean, that fact might be true. But... They're not really going to f- completely fix the problem, but... Uh... Fucking money. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. That about was that. not him. I realized that now. Somebody was, subbed to me. It was a stream sub thing. notification. I, I don't. It's not a sub notification. It's not app anymore. It's like, it's give me my money. Give me my fucking money. God it's says it, it something else, but I'm just gonna uh, say. Yeah, I just don't the, see it. I'm gonna say family friendly version of that, it, it, which is like, doesn't give me my money. Much room for. Give me my fucking money. I like some money. It doesn't require much room for the uh, uh, it's, it's that notification is so loud. Any information to be done. So you I don't if you don't expect why it. There's a it does not sound like that. I'm just worried. There just should not be. That might be a little loud and, and there. That, oh, that's another yeah. big one. No, then no, 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 that loud notification will periodically happen yeah, yeah, in this yeah, instance. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to Give me my fucking money! Pardon me? Pardon me? <laughs> yep. It's the notification sound. It's I not him, he himself doing it. Yeah, I mean, maybe I he did do that in a video, but uh, I don't know what that would be. Guys, quit subbing for a minute. Let me see if I can mute that. Uh, he just ended fucking call! I could not imagine calling a game company and asking them to bend the rules because I cannot play as well as I thought I would. But Putz isn't just asking, he's demanding, he's choking he's screaming that they change the rules. Like a... And change the rules they did. In Splatoon 3, like you can no longer block people, you can only report them. Which Putz does probably more than any other Slicky, Splatoon player. He's in the having game. another I'm not even eating joking contest. when I say he might have reported hundreds of players by now. Genuinely endangering them from playing the game just because he doesn't like how well he played. I am not joking when I say that Putz has almost single handedly made the Splatoon community known as toxic. Granted, there are a number of other elements which I will not get into here, but whenever Splatoon yeah, toxic is mentioned, 
Hudson's almost always referenced. The game doesn't even have a voice chat, which leads me to believe that this is almost single-handedly the putt streams. But like I've really said before, up he will always blame stupidity. his teammates. A prime example of this in-game would be a mode called Rainmaker. Rainmaker is one of the three modes of the original Splatoon. The whole premise is that there is one device called the Rainmaker, and only one person can control it. It puts out a ton of ink, which goes well with the goal of trying to ink the map. Each team is fighting over the Rainmaker for the whole round. Why I'm mentioning all of this is because it's Putz's favorite weapon. Why does he want it, you ask? Because it's overpowered. And there's yeah. only one of them during the entire round. Putz greedily hoards this device, and cannot stand it when anyone else uses it. Some of his most rage-filled moments come from him either losing the Rainmaker, or one of his teammates picking it up. I HATE THESE f***ERS! GOD DAMN IT, MAN! Yeah. <laughs> WHY DO YOU THROW SO f***ING HARD, LIKE LITERALLY? Literally, you're getting two thirds of the map for half the fucking game because we had a six. Sheesh. No, you let's get no bitch. signal. You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! God damn it! By the way, I would never s s say Give that myself. So. Stop trying! I thought my words might be not good to say so. Don't be. Why didn't my dad want to say? They will not let me grab the fucking maker! He doesn't really give two craps about what he really should say on you. The irony of all of this is that the Rainmaker is probably in better hands with Putz's teammates, despite his reactions to them claiming it. All oh, of this has been going on for almost a answer. decade now, and nearly nothing has changed. Cake. Putz has behaved the exact fudge same way since Splatoon 1. The only thing that really changes sometimes is around Christmas. The majority of his streams are without a camera, but in the spirit of Christmas, Putz will face cam up for an event that he calls Putzmas. And it's a crazy thing to see him rage like this on camera, because then you can visualize how all the other moments went as well. To be honest, Putzmas is exactly what you'd expect. Damn it! Help me! You fucking shoot! Pig, do something! Yeah. God damn it! <laughs> You can't game throw any fucking harder. You can't. You just can't. But surprisingly, these are not the only times that he has appeared on camera. In fact, there are dozens of hours of that content that he has put on the internet himself. During my research, I came across something that was actually pretty Sheesh. shocking. That putz, Sean Nichols, had appeared on Season 7, Episode 9 of Man Vs. Food. Putz is a former professional eater, and for this episode, he talked about a challenge that he had completed from a company called Egg Roll Inc., eating a dozen giant egg rolls in an allotted time period. I've seen him compete in rib competitions, taco eating contests, 
burger contests, you name it. I honestly think that is a better form of competition for Sean to be involved with. Because after finishing an eating competition, you don't really have the energy to scream your lungs out at your other contestants. Man vs. Food would not be Sean's last brush with the camera, as he would also feature briefly in an air rack video called I Brought 50 Competitive Eaters to a Buffet. Putz was not only streaming to YouTube, but also uploading his competitive eating videos. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. One year ago, Putz stopped uploading to YouTube, but Avatar Easter eggs aside, he moved over to Twitch, where he still streams to this day. Putz 12 is one of the reasons that competitive gameplay yeah, is Twitch. so unappealing to me. Some people that you play will be this invested in that game. I think another prime example of this would be low tier god in fighting games, and oh, DSP from EVO. This, it's players like these that make multiplayer so unpalatable to me, and I would much rather play something like Zombies, yeah. or I guess a more current example would be Helldivers 2, where everyone works together towards a common goal, so, uh, but maybe that's should. just because I suck at uh, playing the games. And that's all I have on Huts uh, 12 today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, especially till the end. That does wonders for the algorithm. I want to thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, yeah. all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. A massive shout out to my channel members the backbone of this channel, the pillars of this community. Love you guys. Thank you for yeah. the support. And to whoever's watching and this, this video right now, there. thank you. Time is the most valuable thing that any of us have, and the so fact they, that so you so spend they, some so of it here with me means the world. I hope that you all have a wonderful night, and be sure to keep it Kiwi. Well, that's the end of the video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to sit silly for your positive like, comment, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell, share this video with others, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, my dudes and dudettes. By the way, this video was made by a YouTuber named Kiwi Tapes. If, if, sorry if I forgot to mention that earlier, but I'll mention it now. Credits to him, because he's the one that originally made the video. Anyways. Bye.